Good morning, Joe. Welcome back to Alfred Center. Nice to have you back. back. Um, do you want to just start off by telling us who you are and what you're doing here? Yeah, okay, so I'm Joe and I'm a PhD student from the University of Hull and um, I'm just doing some research at the moment. Uh, and my research focuses around the emergence of work around gender and sexuality in English primary schools. Um, what attracted you to, to that line of study? Uh, well, I think from an academic point of view, um, it's a very topical issue at the moment. And I think uh, the, ac the academic literature and uh, ethnographic studies in schools suggest that this is one of the neglected areas of equality's work, yet one that is uh, crucial to be doing. Excellent. Okay. So, in terms of you, you, you visited this school and you visited a number of other schools. Yeah. Um, have you noticed any common themes, if you like, in terms of, of, of the good practice that you see? Yeah, I think uh, in terms of best practice, um, schools that use a range of resources stand out for their varied approaches. Um, so, using a range of resources from various charitable organisations like Stonewall, Schools Out and Out for Our Children, uh, uh, to name but a few. Um, you know, provide those varied approaches so you can tackle the subject from different angles. Uh, in the case of Stonewall, using their work like the different families' materials can provide a good starting point. Um, and also utilising the range of children's books, so things like uh, Olive Button, The Sissy Duckling and The Paper Bag Princess uh, can be good starting points as well. Uh, and this can allow the work to be done within things like literature context rather than just PH PSHE. So it, it can allow the work to be incorporated into various aspects of the curriculum rather than just one aspect. So I think certainly what stands out is schools that use this range of resources that allow the work to filter into various aspects of the curriculum. So it can be done as part of everyday practice really, rather than just as part of PSHE slots. So you're talking about ethos really? Yeah, I think, I mean that seems to be something that's quite um, paramount at the moment, to have a school ethos that supports this kind of work is really important. Um, and in many of the schools, um, this is just a natural extension of that school ethos anyway. Um, so it's not something that has to change what the school does in a major way, it's just something that follows on, flows on quite nicely from schools that have an ethos around you know, respecting for people and values. Um, so yeah, I think the school ethos is important to allow this work to emerge, but I think also in sustaining the work as well, mm. beyond the life of maybe a key teacher within the school, I think it's important that school ethos will allow that work to be sustained and embedded. Um, and allow it to continue and hopefully develop as well and prosper.